Do you think there has been an increase in, in sightings of UAPs and, and things of that nature because technology has increased? Or do you think that potentially there's just more activity now? No, no, I think it has to do with the better instruments we have because if you go back 50 years, um, the data that could have been collected was not of high quality. The images are fuzzy and now we have much better instruments. But at the same time, we also have evasive technologies. We have drones that didn't exist a long time ago. And so our sky is polluted with technological gadgets that humans produced. And the key is to sort them out and, and look for something else. And um, that that is more of a challenge now because there are many more objects in the sky. In addition to airplanes, there are drones, weather balloons, and, you know, satellites um, are being, uh, the communication satellite uh, population is rising to tens of, will be rising to tens of thousands. Uh, in the coming year. So we'll have to distinguish those human-made objects from anything else, but we have much better instruments. So an illustration of that is only over the past decade, we could identify uh, interstellar meteors, uh, like the one that I mentioned, or Oumuamua-like objects. That's, that was possible only over the past decade with the new uh, instruments, the new telescopes and and uh, sensors that we have. And it was not possible before that. So, you know, when Enrico Fermi asked seven, 70 years ago, he, he asked, where is everybody? When he was having lunch at Los Alamos and talking about extraterrestrials, he was wondering, where are they? But he didn't make an effort to look for anything in the sky. And now we have much better instruments. So I think the increase in the discussions and the numbers of reports is simply a reflection of the better instruments we have. Uh, whether they are extraterrestrial or not, these objects that the, the government is talking about remains to be seen. I mean, maybe they have good enough data, but I haven't seen it because it's classified. So hopefully in the coming years, we'll be able to tell. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.